All right, so hopefully this will help you. Um, I decided that I would show you how to create this. It's much, um, I guess it'd be more beneficial just throughout the course of this year um, because it took me forever to figure out how to do this correctly. I did watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos to figure it out. So I might as well just quickly make one for you um, so that you don't have to waste your time. So the reason why it was so annoying is because at first I went ahead and I um, would save a document, a Word document as a PDF, and then I would insert that file as a printout of a PDF so that when a student sees it, they don't have to click on something and then it opens up another document. It is right here. The problem with this, um, and so I did this with the notes, but it didn't work very well because the problem is I can click on here and, and write read whatever I'd like. Um, but what happens is if the writing keeps going because you need to write more, the document doesn't shift with the writing, so it's a mess. Um, and it would take a lot of formatting, making this font smaller, different a different type of font. And so that's super annoying. So I had to figure out another way. Um, so that is what I did for these focus notes. Um, this one that I showed during the staff meeting. Um, all it is is tables. Uh, so I will show you how to create that. Um, so if you insert the table, the first one I'm going to do is three tables wide um, because I decided to put a logo in there. And then I have the topic. Um, and then I have name, date, and period. Now I want to show you a little thing that was annoying me for a good like 20 minutes until I could figure it out. Is if you just type name and then you push enter because you want date to go underneath the name, it creates a whole other little um, table. And I don't want that because I want name, date, period to be in the, its own table. So push backspace twice and it will bring it back, your cursor back to there. For some reason, it's finicky and you have to write whatever text you want in it, name, date, period, and then you can format it. Um, so now I can make it the way that I want to. And then I stretch it. So if you run your cursor over these lines, once you see this little icon that shows you you can stretch it, you can make this whatever size that you want. So for me, I like to make it so that I can see it right on one page. I don't want students to have to scroll back and forth to see their notes. I'd rather if they just scroll up and down, kind of like a regular piece of paper. Um, now to create the next text box, which would be the essential question, uh, you have to make sure that you are working within this one, um, I don't know what the correct terminology is in it for it, but this one uh, box right here with the gray at the top. If you click outside of it and try to insert another table, uh, it won't work. It won't allow the document to grow with the text as you input or type in more text. So if you put your cursor on the end of the text and you just do the arrow down, it will allow you to stay within this box. Then at that point, you insert another table. So this is gonna be just one for the essential question. And then again, you can stretch it how you want it. Um, then, if you notice, I want this to be a little bit larger. So you have to write a couple things. Um, never mind what I just said. This will grow as a student um, type into it. So again, go ahead and push the arrow down, and then it's going to bring you below that text box or table, I should say. And you're going to input another table. So for this table, I'm going to do two so that <clears throat> I can put the question. And then the notes. And again, I'm going to put this formatted how I want it to be formatted. And then the arrow down and table again, one table size summary. And then stretch this where I want it to go. Now, when you push this document out to the students, they'll be able to type straight in here. Um, so if I'm doing the essential question, um, I'm just going to type, so you can see what I'm talking about. 
If you notice, the text box is growing with the text. And everything underneath it is shifting as I input more text. And that's exactly what I want it to do. Same thing as they are taking notes. Um, they can, uh, for the notes section, you know, it's totally up to you if you want them to be able to um, have like the different lines or sections, or they can just go ahead and just take their notes. Um, what else? Uh, I think that that is it. For the logo, I just um, put insert picture and I stole the picture online. Um, and I just, in, in, I just inserted it here and it was super easy. Um, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Um, just my biggest advice is to be patient because it's very annoying when you don't understand this. This whole OneNote um, took a long time for me to try to figure it out and I still don't know everything. Um, they have some really great resources on the Microsoft website, um, but some of it was too slow and I didn't have patience. So I also tapped into YouTube. So check out YouTube as well. They have some good resources on there. All right. So let me know if you need any other help. Hopefully this helps. Bye.